My name is Hannah Mosin. I am from Virginia, USA, and I am a senior studying international affairs at TUJ. I did my internship uh, with Minato Kyakusho or Minato City Hall uh, in their main ward office. So the ward offices in Japan are kind of like the Japanese equivalent of a city hall. So I worked mainly in the uh, global community planning subsection and occasionally the arts and culture subsection. And there was also a subsection uh, to support the Ukrainian refugees who were living in the city. A lot of my job was like in relation to internationalization. A lot of the projects I was working on, I was doing like translation, interpretation. Um, Any time a resident uh, who didn't speak Japanese would come into the ward office and say they had an issue, like they didn't know how to pay for their taxes or their health insurance or anything like that, um, I, I would help uh, interpret for them and make sure that we could resolve their issue like that. The ward office is basically, you know, structured like a typical Japanese office setting. And um, prior to this internship, I had no experience working in a Japanese setting. Some of the nuances in Japanese language, like using um, like keigo and stuff like that. And there's some formalities that come with working um, in a Japanese environment. Uh, for example, like when you hand someone a piece of paper, you need to hand it facing them and with both hands. So little things like that that are not a part of American business culture, more so Japanese. Uh, uh, I had to learn to, to pick up on them. I had no experience um, interpreting, so it, I was really nervous to start that, um, especially because in the in the word office, there's a lot of vocabulary that you don't typically use, uh, like often, at least as a foreigner who speaks Japanese as a second language. I Sometimes I didn't know what we were talking about because I had never come across these words before, so I took home a bunch of like, uh, I guess like pamphlets that are made for the residents and they have these like terms written in them. So I, I took some of them home and I just like read them, kind of study from them just to brush up on some of the terms that I should, I should be uh, like comfortable with in order to help uh, the foreigners. And I think since then um, that really helped me. Now uh, interpretation is a skill that I, I very proudly put on my resume because of the internship experience. There was a girl who came who was about my age and she, she was studying abroad too. And she didn't speak any Japanese and she was like, I just don't know what to do about like my, uh, my health insurance. Like I keep on getting these things in the mail and I don't know what to do with it. And so just based on my experience also being a foreign student living in Japan, I made sure to explain to her like how she can get like the cheapest possible rate to like apply for tax exemption and stuff like that. And she, she thanked me profusely at the end. So it was a good feeling being able to help someone who was in a position that I was also in not too long ago. What makes TUJ such a unique university is that the, the student body and the faculty are so diverse. In the internship that I was doing, you know, I was doing internationalization promotion. So just being a student at TUJ already kind of gave me the confidence to work alongside people with different backgrounds. Um, so I think that was a big contributing factor to my success in the internship as well. If you had told me like three years ago that I would have the opportunity to work in a government office in Tokyo, I would have never believed you. But you know, the truth is like you don't know whether you, or not you can or can't do something if you don't at least try. Um, and I'm glad that I, I took the risk. It ended up being a great experience. So I would recommend students to not doubt yourself and always give something a shot. <laughs>